Hello, plant friends. Welcome back. My name is Jimmy. I'm a doctor and tropical plant hobbyist in LA, and this channel is about plants. Today, I have a huge, huge treat for you guys. Ignore the bad hair day. We're gonna focus on this. Mature, ripe, Monstera deliciosa fruit. This, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm super, super excited to try this. Um, Obviously, not very easy to find. These fruits come from really, really mature and big Monstera deliciosa plants. These have to be really, really big. <laughs> really, really big. So uh, the fruit comes only on the really mature plants. So once the, the fruit comes out, it's actually small on the smaller side like this. And it actually takes this fruit an entire year to ripen, right? So once it pops out over the course of the year, uh, this gets bigger and then it, you know, it slowly ripens. So it takes a whole year for this thing <laughs> to be ready to eat. So I'm super, super excited that I actually have one in front of me that's ready for me to eat. So I actually got this fruit while I was in Miami, Florida at the International Aroid Society show this last weekend. And when I got it, it was it was covered in I would say the whole entire fruit was was green and it was covered in I guess these these little these little green I don't know cells or whatever they were. And the fruit then was was definitely not ripe. So when I got back to LA, it was just sitting in this plastic bag, in my duffel bag, and I, I really just forgot about it because I had so much work to catch up on, and it was just sitting there for a week. And when I finally remembered about it again, I took it out of the bag, and I noticed that you know all these green cells has fallen off, or almost a, a majority of them has fallen off. That's just telling me that the fruit is is ready. It's it's ready for me to eat. So when I bought this over on the plane, it was actually in my carry-on, and it actually alerted the TSA scanners. So my bag was checked. The officer came over, opened up my bag. He saw this plant or, or this fruit, and he's like, "What is that? I've I've, I've never I've never seen that before." It's, I think it's time for me to actually finally dig in. Okay. I'm just uh, trying to clear off some of these green cells. So, oh yeah, this is good. Look. Okay. All right, here goes, here goes nothing. Mm. Uh, really good. Oh yeah. Hmm. 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 I don't know what that was. That was a little hard. So, all right. Yeah. Let's let's uh let's keep on going. Mm. So, it um, 
It tastes good. It tastes deliciosa. See what I did there? Like delicious? But it's a Monstera Deliciosa fruit, so I said it tastes del You guys get it. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. So it's um, it's citrusy. I would say um, the closest thing I would compare this to is cherimoya, uh, cherimoya, yeah, cherimoya fruit. Um, for those who haven't had cherimoya fruit, I would say that the closest thing that this would go come to would be sort of like kiwi, but but even then, I think that's a that's a really far stretch comparison. Oh, these cells are these cells are falling as I'm eating. So, uh, mm. Mm. oh, it's really good. This is a good breakfast. Mm. 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 Oh man. Mm. Mm. Oh, Monstera Deliciosa in my belly. Mm. Mm. If you guys ever have a chance to eat this, seriously, definitely try it. It's it's really really good. Of course, you know definitely remember that you know these these uh, green cell things have to fall off uh, so that you know you guys know that it's ripe. Mm. Okay. Can't be wasting deliciosa fruit. It's delicious. That's really bad. That was that was really bad. Mm. Yeah. So I guess this whole video is just gonna be <laughs> me eating this fruit. So the reason why these fruits are so, you know, rare and hard to find is that these these come from really mature plants. So that means that you need a really mature and really really big um, Monstera deliciosa to actually just produce the fruit. And then when the fruit is produced, it actually takes a whole year to ripen. So when you know your Monstera that's growing in your backyard produces one of these, you have to just leave it there for a whole year. Uh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. There is a, there's like a, a sweet smell to it. Hmm. I would say, I would say mi kiwi, kiwi? No, pineapple. A little like pineapple slash kiwi-ish. my first like plant eating video
Yeah, this is a very educational video, right guys? Yeah. Super educational. Lots going on. <laughs> oh man. This is a lot for, for breakfast. Mm. Mm. So this video is one of my vlogs or video blogs or whatever and I think all of these are going to be pretty, you know, very minimally edited. Uh. Plant fun stuff. Mm. Oh man, it's like a mess. Mm. Oh. oh, I think the the little like black spots or particles or things they're a bit they're a bit rough. Um, oh. yeah, they're they're a bit rough. Maybe I should have just like tried to clean them off before I eat that. But, oh well, well, <laughs> too late now. <laughs> I felt fine, guys. So today is the day after and, you know, nothing happened. Uh, I know that a lot of you guys were curious or wondering if I would spend the next day uh, stuck in the restroom after eating the Monstera fruit. So I added this clip to tell you guys that I'm feeling fine. You guys are so dramatic. You know the, the black specks uh, that was on the fruit? Yeah, those, those were quite a bit rough. I didn't really appreciate it at the beginning, but I guess like as I ate more and more of the fruit, it, it really did, you know, add up. I think it's comparable to when you're eating a lot of pineapple, how, you know, if you eat a ton of pineapple, there's something in there that, that really roughens up the mouth. Uh, I think this is pretty similar, but, you know, overall, I feel great. Uh, my hair is still bad, but I feel great. So now, uh, I guess back to yesterday to end the episode. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, comment, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos. <laughs> Till next time, happy planting and, and eating, I suppose. <laughs>